common question I get is, should you get lower eyelid surgery at the same time as getting upper eyelid surgery? A lot of people ask that because they've been thinking about lower eyelid surgery and they come in either because their upper eyelids are bothering them more or because their upper eyelids have a medical condition that's blocking their vision. And then they realize that the upper eyelids are close to the lower eyelids, so should you get them done at the same time? So one thing that's really important to know is that when you have upper eyelid surgery, 99% of the time you're gonna get some bruising and you might even get some bruising in your lower eyelids and some swelling. That's actually pretty common. So most people, if they're going to have bruising and swelling in their lower eyelids, would rather just go through the process of having both the upper and the lower eyelids done at the same time because you're gonna be bruised on both instead of separating it into two different surgeries. But you do have that option. It's just good to know, even if you only get the upper eyelids done, you are gonna get some bruising and swelling most likely in the lower eyelids as well. So that's kind of the answer for that question.